Well, what's going on, everyone? Seven here, or Doctor Online, or whatever the fuck you want to call me. <laughs> uh, today, in today's video, you can see. Oh my goodness, I, I don't I don't have all that glitchy bullshit going on. Uh, you can actually see my little guardian angel here. Her, uh, she doesn't really have a name yet, but here, let, let me give you a little closer look at this little kitten. You can't really see, uh, because everything in my office is, uh, coated in blue light, but her eyes are bright, bright blue. She reminds me of, she reminds me of someone, I just can't remember who. <laughs> we'll come up with a name for her eventually, though. Bad little bitch. Just like I like him. But anyhow, the point of today's video, uh, ev ev evidently, is uh, to get 30 melee kills using a melee weapon. Now this, this is very important, using a melee weapon. Now I know uh, that, that so, some, some of us don't really read a whole lot. <laughs> so I might have missed that had I not taken a second look, but... I had already I had already planned on this. This is why. Uh, oh, in this squad, <laughs> we have four brothers. Yeah, in this squad we have four brothers. We have uh, Mr. Tom Zintz, or it's Tom or Tomathan or something silly like that. I don't I don't remember what the his name is, but he's the leader of this little group of axemen or uh, lumberjacks or whatever you want to call them, and uh, they're all equipped with my favorite rifle in the Normandy campaign, and that is the Monlika. Why is this thing such a beautiful weapon fully upgraded? Let's take a look at its features, huh? Let's take a look. Now, the iron sights, that that just that little forward post without a, a ring on it is, is, well, it's not ideal, uh, but with the ranges uh, that you're going to be using this weapon, basically, you see this 9.9 .9 at 200 meters, that, that means we can safely assume that about 190 meters, well outside of uh, the vast majority of your engagement ranges anywhere in the Normandy campaign. Like, sure, it may be every now and then you might get a hit marker, but for the most part, uh, the, sh the shining feature of this rifle is right here. Here's where the sauce is. You, does that look silly to you? <laughs> Up to 90 shots per minute on a bolt action. You say, wow, why is this thing so much faster? Well, let's see if I can get a real good, real good uh, look at it. Now you can't really see it just by looking at it, but I actually own uh, one of these rifles, like uh, exactly one of these rifles uh, in real life. Her name is Lucy. And uh, the reason why you can fire these rifles so fast is it has a straight bolt. So instead of rotating the bolt up and over, you just, just like that. And you think, wow, that seems like, is this like a new technology in World War II? No, uh, this rifle is very old. <laughs> it's extremely old. Uh, if, you, if you ask me, I have, I have no clue why uh, they went away from the straight pull design i mean uh, from my understanding and uh, nobody should trust anything i say because i'm an idiot but <laughs> the, the m1895 i believe correct me if i'm wrong was uh, a cavalry rifle and from what i read uh, it, the design or uh, the idea of the straight pull bolt was so that you could hold your horse reins in one hand and i don't have lucy with me i, I left her uh at a friend's house unfortunately <laughs> he has a, he has a really nice gun safe okay so i like to keep her if i'm not pulling her out to use her i keep her locked away temperature controlled humidity controlled all that and yes i need to get my own safe but like, i know one of these days <laughs> but i <laughs> Sorry, my goodness. But anyhow, so just just pretend we're riding a horsey. Yeah, you got you got the uh, the reins right here, and uh, generally you would have your mun liquor uh, in a, a a scabbard, right? Kind of like you you would a, a sword if you were uh, about a hundred years prior to World War One. <laughs> but you'd be able to pull 
out your rifle with one hand and kind of rest the rifle somewhere and be able to actuate that bolt with the stock kind of uh, you squeeze it under your armpit and then you can grab the bolt and do that with one arm so that you never have to take your hands off the reins and the the weapon it's a carbine or carbine depending on how you say it it's light enough so with one hand you could take somebody out get it back under your arm cycle the action and you're ready to go and you say that doesn't sound very accurate well no it's not really that accurate but uh the benefit of a horse is you can get real real close to motherfuckers <laughs> so i mean you could literally just reach out with that rifle you know a, a few uh, like a meter away and just pop somebody right not 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 horribly effective i don't think in the great war i mean cavalry was utterly decimated in that conflict but the point still stands that this rifle is exceptional in its handling. And because it is exceptional in its handling, it has a ridiculous rate of fire. Now the reload time... <laughs> Let's not talk too much about the reload time because... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it's a bit long for five rounds. It is. I mean, they could probably stand a just tighten that up a little bit and I'm sure it's to you know balance out the insane fire rate for gameplay purposes but just just a little bump just a little teeny bump huh but uh, oh excuse me well, let's quit let's quit just oh my goodness this is the star of the show today yes it is oh just look wave it around a little bit can I get this thing up Wow, I just can't get this thing up can somebody help me get this <laughs> Okay. Anyway, so uh, we have our uh, Man Monlika rifle fully upgraded. We have our axes, one hit kill melee weapon. Knife takes two, axe takes one. And it produces, uh, which we will demonstrate gleefully today, it produces a wonderful cracking sound. Because an axe, when you, when you say if you hit somebody in, in the neck or the, the shoulder right here, it's going to cleave straight through the flesh. That's not what you hear. What you hear is the axe uh, breaking uh, the collarbone, right? And th th this is generally where you'd want to hit someone with an axe if you're trying to kill them. Not just to sever uh, those blood vessels and those arteries, potentially, but also to break uh, the collarbone. If you break someone's collarbone, they're combat ineffective immediately. They're done. Uh, you can, and at that point, you can choose to finish them off or move on to the next next uh, <laughs> victim. Or at least that's how it went down in the books I read. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. So, oh, and we have an axe and a monlika on every one of these gentlemen, and the the strategy that we're going to be going for today. Oh my goodness, I can demonstrate this for y'all real quick. Let's just load up a practice real fast, and I'm going to show you kind of the techniques that I have in my head for how to get these 30 melee kills, right? So we have our little man looker rifle. Look at that. 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 <laughs> Sorry. I do love this rifle. I mean, the iron sights are a little, they're a little bit... But, I mean, you see how quickly that cycles? And uh, pay attention. Oh, you can't see the bolt. Oh, right. Excuse me. I almost forgot, guys. I almost forgot. Let me just swap myself over here. So, I'm going to be trying out uh, my face or mask cam, whatever the fuck you want to call it, up here. So that you can still see the mini-map. Because... Uh, People apparently didn't like it when I covered the mini-map, even though I don't use it, and that's why I covered it. <laughs> because I can't read it, because my eyes are so bad. Oh, geez, oh, feel sorry for me. <laughs> we all have our issues, right? Uh, but up here, yes, it obstructs, uh, you know, a little bit. Uh, it's ki it kind of it kind of feels a little weird, but, I mean, all the action's going to be in front of me, and I can still see 
inside of this square. It doesn't pop up on my screen, only yours, so. We'll see how it goes. Uh, any feedback, any comments, you know, tell me if you guys like it, if you don't like it. Just whatever you think, you know? Help me figure out how to make these videos more entertaining, because that's why I'm here, right? This is fun for me. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. Let's pull out our little... Oh, boy. Oh... Oh, <laughs> sorry, old uh, Tom Zentz is kind of a joker. I mean, I I know none of you have met him in real life, but he can be kind of a joker. So let's try this out. He sure can't jump very high. I wonder if that's why. That is not a very that's not very high uh, verticality. I was hoping to. Sprint up to people, just like just like so. Maybe hop around a corner and just give them a little, just give them a little slam dunk, you know, a little space jam. Shh. We'll see how it works. But just pretend like this target is a doorway. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's about as wide as a doorway. You know, there'd be guys here, but if you poke your happy little butt around the corner, uh, you're gonna get it shot off. So the idea is we hide around the corner. Well, tactically position ourselves around the corner. <laughs> and we listen for movement, right? And as soon as we hear someone getting getting funky right next to the door, we just give them a little... Not one of these. No, Tom, Tom, I know you're a joker, bub, but come on. Give them a little one of those. See how quick that was? You crouched, you sprint, you jump, you axe. And then that way they have no time... To react and if you miss them if they aren't in the doorway you're already at the other side and if you get to the other side and you didn't kill anybody you know what to do you know exactly what to do you just lean over a little bit and well Tom sure has an arm on him doesn't he my goodness they're, they're, he's got some guns on him I'll give him that but my goodness oh seven rounds in reserve that's letting us know we need to quit fucking around and get out of this little and get oh no no one more one more thing one more thing okay so sprint we also have crouch speed right so if somebody is pretend these two guys are real you know you want to dodge and weave and then duck <laughs> duck as soon as you get close to them hoping that because most people they're trained to shoot you in the head because most video games you don't get a one shot by shooting somebody in the guts you get a you get a one shot by shooting him in the head. So let's say this. Uh, can you help me out with this? Can you guys help me out with this? Somebody. No, I don't want. I don't want the Zents brothers, right? <laughs> okay. So if someone's pointing a rifle at you, right, right here, right in your face, you just duck under it, right? You just duck and get him right in the guts. Just Get him right in the guts, drag the axe through his abdomen, right through those, those, uh, you know, the six pack, right? Those abdominal muscles. You want to aim between those muscles. It's weaker uh, about where the belly button is, right? And if you get that axe buried it deep enough into their guts and just pull down with all your force, uh, mm, I'm trying to think of a PG way to say this, all of their, uh, their lunch <laughs> will just kind of fall out of them, right? And again, that's like it's like the hit uh, to the collarbone. You get them in the in the guts uh, in their bread basket, and they're going down. They're done. There, there's a reason why this weapon is a one-hit kill in this game because it should be. Okay, now we can get out of here. Now we can get out of here. Yeah. I'm ready to do it. Let's just quit talking about it and let's get into a squads match. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I am excited. I'll meet you all out there. Alright, so here we are uh, in the Normandy campaign for Germany, obviously. You saw, you all saw that in the pregame lobby, or as I like to call the planning stage. Uh, you couldn't see my finger close there, sorry. <laughs> I'll get used to the new camera. I have to get used to using my uh, other hand to demonstrate that. But wow, you see, we just got shot immediately, but that's okay. Old Tom Zentz is a tough son of a bitch. 
Oh my goodness, hi there. No, nope. no, nope. hi there, yep. Yep, take his tracks out. Take his tracks out. We gotta help out our team. We gotta help out our team. We gotta help out our team with this little jumbo. Yep. Just gotta help out our team. Yep. Don't worry about the axe kills right now, bruh. Don't worry about the axe kills right now, huh? We'll get those axe kills. Just kinda along this wall here. Just kinda give them a little bit of yep. Yep. So this way is kinda effed. Whew. No melee kills. Got a decent amount of experience though, y'all see that? So that is the biggest piece of advice that I can give any of you. It's just don't worry about getting the 30 melee kills, right? Play normally, play smartly, and then after you, like my engineer right here, I'm gonna go set up a rally point. I'm gonna help my team so that we win so that I get more experience, so that I, I have more fun. <laughs> and then we'll pull out the axe, and then we'll go ham with it. If you just go ham right off the bat, or right off the, the cliff, you're not gonna have a fun time. Trust me, you're not gonna have a fun time. Not even a little bit. Still need to put up rally points. Still need to support your team. Still need to capture points. Absolutely. Now that we have a rally point up, now that we have a rally point up, it's gonna take out a little explosive packs. We're gonna dodge that gentleman right there. He doesn't have any good intentions for us. Ooh. And we're just gonna give him a nice little long toss there. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine. We're just gonna cap this point. We're gonna poke our head out just a little bit. See that tank over there? You see that tank? You see that tank? We're just gonna take him out real quick or take most of his crew out so that he's combat ineffective. You know, this is gonna turn into a freaking tank killing video. <laughs> I'm not gonna get any melee kills. Ooh. So here's a good here's a good method to get them melee kills. Just lay down low, lay down super low. And just die. Yeah, this is gonna be a really hard challenge to do, guys. Not gonna lie. Because when it, you, everybody knows whenever you try for something, the sweat comes out, you know. It's okay, though. Now, guys, we need to talk about this. I literally just spawned and was immediately taken down by close air support, and yet, still. Spawn protection for infantry on infantry is beyond, beyond over -tuned. It needs to be, it needs to be adjusted. It absolutely needs to be adjusted. If this game is to have any success. And I know I, I talk a lot about what needs improving in this game, but I don't want it to come across as negative. Like, there's, there's a reason I, I don't make these videos just to be negative. I make them because I really do care about this game, right? I really do. Otherwise, I wouldn't have started this channel. We're just gonna get our little little humdinger in here. Since this guy doesn't want to move, we're just gonna plant it right there. Sacrifice ourselves, but it's okay that we sacrificed ourselves because that was for the greater good. That will help our team immensely. Yeah, see that? A little triple. A little triple dipple. Yeah. Yeah, just kill him real quick. See, if you want melee kills, don't worry about that fire. Don't worry about that fire. It's gonna kill you. <laughs> There's two melee kills, right? Two out of 30. Now we're in business. Now we're rocking and rolling. Now it doesn't feel so hopeless. You just gotta get up here. Get up here. Show him we're a brave, brave man. And just, yep. Boy, those, those allies, they are sure, sure can be cowardly, huh? Now, where did my forward operating base go? Or my rally point, excuse me. I do need to correct myself on that, uh, that lingo, right? <laughs> or, or, you know, it'd be really cool if we just call them FOBs. Uh, it is an acronym for forward operating base, and it is much 
faster to say than rally point. That's three syllables versus one. Right? Let's take a look at this dead tank here. I thought he was alive for a second. I hear I hear some tank alive around here somewhere, aside from the Puma. Other than the Puma. Let's just keep her going. Huck a little love over there. Nope. Didn't get anything on him. Man. That explosive spam, huh, guys? That explosive spam. We're just gonna chuck a random nader over there. Checking our map. Checking our map. Yep. Do a little anti first mine. And just blown up and blown up and blown up and grenades. And look, more explosions. Oof, boy. We're not gonna let it get us angry today. We're not gonna let it upset us or any silly sh like that. Oh, hi there. Yeah, that guy's not friendly. Hi there. Yep. Bet you wish you'd done that, huh? Bet you wish you hadn't have done that, huh? We're gonna hide right here. See, this is what, uh... You know those movies where the... Like, Jason with the ski mask... Is killing teenagers out in the woods? This is how he does it. <laughs> oh, sh... <laughs> oh, somebody must have walls. He probably doesn't have walls. I've seen a lot of people... Uh, talking about hackers in this game and while I do agree that there are a lot or more hackers than there should be I don't think it's as much of an issue as people are making it out to be but it it is an issue it is absolutely something that has to be addressed at some point it's nothing against easy anti-cheat I'm, I'm ignorant on whether or not it's even decent or not but I sure do see a lot of suspicious activity going on you know what I mean just it's just real suspicious sometimes it gets real suspicious sometimes yep it just gets real suspicious and it's usually the same people they just always know exactly they're pre-firing you every time or they do a little 180 and headshot you from 300 meters away and you're like well yeah you're probably not legit at that point but Probably not legit. So let's just concentrate on what we're doing here. And get blown the f up again? Get blown up again by close air support. <laughs> and then our, then a mortar. And then what 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 probably would have killed us after that is fing artillery. Guys. Guys, this is not fun and engaging gameplay. This is just Explosive spam. Like, no wonder people complain about it so much. And I'm really trying not to complain. I'm trying so hard not to complain, but... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So we're going to take this... Uh... Yep, tilt it just like this. Oh my goodness, look. There's that fucking explosive again, huh, guys? Look at that explosive. Huh? We're going to go up here on this little roof here. And hopefully our team can figure out what it is that we've done. And they can come up here and join us. Saying, oh, aren't you supposed to be getting melee kills? I'm not making a video about that. That's boring. I'd have to sit there and edit a bunch of clips together and sweat trying to get them. I'm just going to get them naturally by playing the game and just enjoying myself. See the reason I put the sand back here now? Okay, that, that looked like a good hit, huh? There it is. Well, maybe you should take your mask off, you see better. <laughs> maybe if I turn this blue fucking light off. Oh, look! Look, we got taken out by more explosives. Have we died to anything but explosives? It doesn't feel like it. So, of course, whenever uh, somebody disrespects you with explosives what is the proper thing to do boys and girls you guessed it yes sir you guessed it eye for an eye baby eye for an eye baby boom <laughs> 17 kills my goodness 17 kills it's almost like i did it on purpose <laughs> 
I love the number seven, you know that? I really do. But it also haunts me. We have one more bomb drop. One more cute little bomb drop. One more cute little bomb drop. We're just taking a look, trying to see if we can see anything. Let's drop it in the town because there's no teammates there. That's okay. There is a tank there though. Let's let our, our team know. Just to let them know. Possibly a steward. I didn't get a, a, a really good look at its engine deck. We're just gonna loop this big kitten around. We're just gonna loop this big kitten around. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't even think we killed anybody with the axe yet. That's just shameful. I'm gonna have to get out of this thing at some point. But you know, it's kind of more important to help our team with this objective. And since nobody apparently spawns air around here, and that guy doesn't seem to be worried about shooting me down, we're just gonna use this while we're able to use it. Yeah, we're just gonna use this while we're able to use it and just try and get some cheeky little drops. Only six, interesting. Only six, oh no. This is a very important thing to do in your bombers, by the way, is to just look around, keep your keep your eyes on the target. Always keep your eyes on the target. You see this little dickhead? This little dickhead over here. Now this little dickhead over here, we're gonna suicide, take out that jumbo, and get back on the ground. Just like that. See how easy that was? And don't forget, if you suicide before your bombs explode, there's a risk, a risk, a real risk of killing your teammates. Let's just see what we can do here. This is not an ideal map for melee kills. Not an ideal map for melee kills. See, I told you this is gonna be a freaking tank killing video. <laughs> That's okay though, you know, I like killing tanks. I also love getting blown up constantly by getting close air support all game long. Isn't that fun guys when uh, nobody on your team, cause I, I didn't load a fighter, cause I, I was more concerned about getting infantry squad gameplay, right? Oh yeah, here's our ax. Let's not let it make us angry. Let's just sit right here. Wait for a customer. Let's just wait for a customer. Yeah. Get a little anti-purse mine out. Oh yeah. Just let that artillery do a little work there, huh? Just gonna cap this point out and see we're not worried about ourselves and getting those melee kills. We're worried about capping the point. If someone comes in here, I'll engage him with the axe, but you see that? There's somebody in that shed. I guarantee you they're in the shed right here. Oh my goodness, hi there. <laughs> uh, the uh, the way that grenades work in this game does need to be fixed. Uh, you see you say, oh, you just need to learn how to throw them. Uh, it's been changed so many damn times. Like where it actually leaves your hand, the trajectory. The... Oh my goodness. If they could just give us like a like a simplified trajectory or something, just so we knew we wouldn't kill ourselves with the sh like just something simple, guys. Just something super simple. Like it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be super fancy. What? Okay, there's no way that missed. There's no way that one missed. I'm just gonna casually reload again. Even though we did get the entirety of that stripper magazine or stripper clip in there, but that's okay. Just gonna take him out. Just gonna take him out. What? What? Huh? Does Germany suffer, guys? Did it? Does Germany suffer, or is the? Uh, or are their teams populated with uh, lazy clowns who who won't push an objective, who won't sacrifice, and who will worry about nothing but getting kills for themselves? Is, is that it? I'm not really sure. 
I'm not really sure. Where did that fucking grenade go? Like, honestly, guys. Honestly, what is going on here? Guys, what the f*** was that? How does it bounce back at that angle? And then we're killed by fuck. This 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 is not this is this is why people don't like this fucking game, guys. This is horse. And there we finally got that son of a bitch. We finally got that motherfucker. Finally got him. Yep. <laughs> See, don't don't let don't let him make you angry. As soon as you start getting angry, you're gonna have a bad time. You don't ever want to let anger ruin your day like I just let it ruin mine. Because then you're just you're not gonna get any kills. You're not gonna get the experience. It's not gonna be fun for you. Yeah. Oop. Hop through that little window right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see if we can find somebody in these trenches real quick. We're just near the trench. Just hide. Does anybody want to play with me? Anybody at all want to play with me? We're going to regain our stamina. Try and avoid those freaking bombs. Since nobody wants to shoot down enemy cast this game. I don't know why. They're just not feeling it today, I guess. Hi there. Hi there. Yep. We're going to switch to fun mode here. We're going to switch to fun mode real quick. Just take a nice deep breath. Just a nice deep breath. Take him out with a headshot. You can't. You can only do that on fun mode. If I was on semi-auto, that wouldn't work out so good, huh? It's gonna use their cover against them. Yeah, we're gonna use their cover against them. We're just gonna whoop, do a little side hop. Do a little. Guys, where where is the team? Like honestly, where where is my team? What are they doing right now? <laughs> how how does how does that guy just sit out in the open like that and not get taken out by somebody? It's perplexing. It really is interesting how that just works out, right? Let's take a little look around. Should have knifed that guy, but it's more important that we don't worry about ourselves. Worry about the team a little bit, yeah? Worry about that team a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, what? What was that? Literally touching him. That was like three knife animations and two of them missed? Oof. Mmm. Man, this... Mmm. Trying super hard not to complain today. I've been... I know a lot of my videos have come across as a little bit negative. I understand that, but... Guys, this is... The constant or two... I can't even speak right now. The constant explosions from the, the close air support, the artillery, the grenades, the mortars... This is... Uh, come on, man. Come on. We're gonna get down low and hope that our team freaking covers us just for... Just for a second so we can get a, a rally point up. Or we're gonna get bombed. Or our whole team is gonna get bombed. Dark blow. The A20 is... It's not okay. It's not okay. Ask our team if that anybody has a fighter, any fucking thing, any fucking thing, anything. Yep. Build some sandbags to protect our forward operating, or excuse me, our rally point, so it doesn't get taken out immediately. Yep. Build this. Build this little kitten right here. We're just gonna take a little look, see, let our team know where the threat is. Switch to fun mode. Take a nice little hop. Skip the daisy over here. Yeah, don't worry too much about it. Pull out a little grenade pack and guess that the allies are somewhere near there. No? Oh, a Stuart. This is going to be a tank killing video, isn't it? <laughs> wow. What even killed us? Oh, an artillery strike. Wow. More fun and engaging gameplay, guys. That artillery that you can't counter, there's no counter to it. Yeah, at least the, the mortar guys, you can. Literally, my team is white. Every, every what? Minute? And our, our, our aircraft, 
doesn't seem to be worried about the enemy aircraft at all. Like, why is he ground striking? Why is he not taking care of the air threat? And you want and you German mains wonder why Germany loses? Whew. That's some next level horse right there. What an absolute joke. Did my did my rally point get taken down again? Boy. I wonder if it's teammates doing it. Is it teammates doing it? Look at this sh Bomb after bombing after bombing after bombing after artillery strike after artillery strike after grenade after grenade after grenade all the whole the whole game Zero recourse zero recourse for most of the infantry players That needs to be fixed not changed not improved not tweaked that needs to be fixed Close air support is a huge issue especially in Normandy and that's coming from a close air support enthusiast. I prefer flying. 100% would rather fly than do almost anything else. And if I'm calling for a serious change, not a nerf, I'm not calling it a nerf. If I'm calling for changes because I think that close air support is that unfair, then something is... Something is absolutely... Look at this sh Look at this shit! Oh, but our teammate managed to ki uh, team kill with the artillery strike, so at least there's that. Oh my goodness. Okay. We're gonna pull out our man liquor. Yep, we're gonna pull out a man liquor since our team, your team just needs to be shown. He was firing before I rounded the corner. Y'all see that? Fat, yep, same guy. Fatimus Maximus. He's had a, more than a couple of really weird kills on us, yeah? Oh look, my rally point's gone again. Gee, I wonder if my teammate is spawning on it and destroying it. Gee, I wonder. Let's find out, huh? Let's go build another rally point and let's see if our team is being... Our teammate is being an absolute piece of sh And destroying them, huh? Let's find out. That's something I've noticed too. Dark flow. If you allow teammates to destroy your rally points, how 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 does that work in your head? How does that work in your head to be anything but toxic? I see it almost every game I play where a teammate will just come up and destroy my rally points so that his gets spawned on, so he gets the experience because people are too stupid to just figure out. Oh look, oh look, blown up by friendly artillery. And, and because we're blown up by friendly artillery, and... Okay. Nope. Nope. I need to make this about the axe. That's the only way I'm not gonna get angry, because this game, this freaking game, like, what is this? This game is like, uh, you know Call of Duty when you get a kill streak, right? You get like an AC-130. Imagine if one player could just choose to have the AC-130 all the time. And, and just for the whole match. Imagine that. Wouldn't that be absolutely broken? Oh, look. Isn't that weird how that did nothing to that tank? That's not even the, the jumbo either. It has the side panel, so it's not even a jumbo. It's just a regular M4. There we go, there's the kill. There it is. I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna get taken out through bushes. Through bushes. Who killed us? Console player, not likely a hacker, but killed us through two sets of bushes. Two sets of bushes, huh? Isn't that strange? Isn't that just really weird, guys? Let's just drop it on point since there's only one teammate there. <laughs> okay, staying calm. Yep, staying super calm, super, super calm. Hi there, bud. 
Yep. Yep. Just make sure that uh, we didn't let that happen to ourselves again. We got our 420 rifle loaded now. Our the 420 rifle. You can see it in the corner of the screen right there. It's the 420 rifle. Uh, she's a beaut. I really like her. I really, really do. You know what I like even more than that though? Just getting blown up a uh, hundred thousand times over every single game. That's so fun and engaging. When you're playing infantry and you're just trying to go towards the objective and you're expecting an infantry fight. How many infantry fights have we had this this game, huh? Or have we just been blown up by artillery, close air support, and grenades literally the entire time, huh? Which one did you guys see? Which one did you guys experience with me? Let's get a little man looker out. Yeah, get a little man looker out because now we're just a little, little angry. And we don't want to be angry. We don't want to be angry. Hi there. Yep. Help him out. Help him out. Oh my goodness. We're just losing our mind there. That's not a safe place. Literally stuffed that in his butt. Of course I managed to kill myself on it, but that's okay. We got a few guys. That'll probably help us push up a little bit. That's all right. Normandy, to be honest with you guys, that's why I kind of made this video the way I did. Uh, Normandy really isn't ideal for doing this melee challenge, so I would not recommend. Because look at all this open space, all these. Please don't. It's the same guy. It's literally the same guy who just has free reign over this entire map why why is that possible even oh boy look more explosive guys more explosive huh yep look at that oh my goodness hi there bud more explosives oh it's just is it anything but is it anything but explosives guys is it anything but explosives at this point i think uh, they maybe we should just change the name to uh, explosives instead of enlisted. It it it. Mm, mm. It's okay. We're just gonna stay calm as we can while we're getting bombed again. Literally, a uh, again? Like seriously? I'm just done. I want out. I don't want to play this game anymore. And that's what this does to you. That's why people play this game, uh, don't spend any money on it because people don't do that. They they wait to see if they enjoy it first and they load into a match. See how many people left them on my, either side. Yeah, a, a decent amount. You know why there's so many people leaving? Because this sh isn't fun. It's not fun at all. Being blown up constantly the entire freaking match constantly every five seconds there's something blowing you up blowing you up who came up with this sh honestly who the designed this people didn't like call of duty because there was too much explosive spam and you add more thinking that this it's gonna be somehow more f favorable to your player base? Are you are you actually insane, guys? Are you actually insane? Oh. 16. I tried for 17, but that's okay. We can't we can't always get what we wish for, right? Wow, that was hard to make. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I can calm down. So let me let me switch off real quick. Let me switch off. None of this matters. See, this is. Let's just let's just switch back to boop, this little setup here, and let's talk, okay? I wasn't really angry that entire time, guys. I wasn't actually angry. Um, Doctor Online is a character, right? Y'all y'all know it's not my real name. Y'all know that Seven is just a nickname. Uh, but the the 
purpose of my videos. These aren't guide videos. You know, a lot of people have been telling me, make some guide videos, make weapon reviews. That, that's not me, man. That's not me. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to show y'all how to get uh, melee kills efficiently because my brain just doesn't work the same way as most people, right? Now, if you want, if you want uh, meta or, uh, you know, guide videos, there are people who are good at making guide videos. And I'm going to link a couple of them uh, in, in the description, uh, possibly comment. You know, people that I watch, that I would like you to watch, if, if you feel that you need advice on how to play this game, click, click the, the links that I provide, okay? But let's continue. The, the point of Dr. Online as a character is just to be <laughs> silly fun, basically. So when I get angry and when I'm just raging and all that stuff, it's, it's just meant to be funny, right? We all, <laughs> we all get a laugh out of watching people get angry on the internet, don't we? <laughs> and I try not to overdo it, right? And some of that is is real, a little bit real frustration because, I mean, honestly, this fucking game, wow, that's an odd combination, isn't it? Uh, best flame trooper and best engineer and, and multi-specialist. I got, I got best engineer in first place. Ooh, that's weird. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh that was the point of this video oh right i forgot that's what the point of this video was right see it's easy as it's easy repeat it after me guys <laughs> it's easy as one two three just like that see it's counting it's just like count one two three my goodness super straightforward it's a good thing I didn't get 17 kills there at the end because I, I miscalculated in my head. I was keeping track of how many I had. And I would have been 124 and that just I would have had to remade the whole video. Nobody wants that. Oh my goodness, I don't have time for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but guys, trust me. If you don't worry about getting the melee kills, like obviously try to get them. But if you play the game as you normally would and have fun or try to have fun with all the freaking explosive spam, the close air support, who watched that and thought that looked like a game they would like to try playing where they just constantly get blown up and blown up and just you don't even know what killed you unless, until you look at the kill feed. And, oh, there's a bomber up. It's just nobody can shoot them down because engineers, for some fucking reason, don't get anti-aircraft guns until campaign level 23 and only after you upgrade the sons of bitches enough to unlock it like come on guys like come on guys and you have to be uh campaign level 12 to spawn a fighter and most people are free to play and won't bother taking a fighter because the fighter is not good for getting kills on infantry which is the literally the only way getting kills on infantry is the only way to really guarantee yourself top of leaderboard you want your name up here you want your little face up here oh look there i am joshua Oops, did I just reveal my real name? <laughs> uh, you'll have to subscribe to figure out if that's true. Wink, wink. I, if you, yep, yep, only subscribers know for sure what my real name is because there's a special little video that pops up only for subscribers. And it goes into further detail about what it is exactly that I'm trying to accomplish with my channel, right? I was actually in the right frame of mind to make that video when I did. Well, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. Yeah, let's get out of here. I mean, we can sit here and gloat. <laughs> Two, 214 kills. Oh, my. Okay, we are name shaming this. This we are, We're going to name shame this dude a little bit. You. Twigunalim. Okay, you got 214 kills, and you spent uh, pretty much the entire game camping with a, a two inch or three inch more, whatever the fuck it is, and sitting in a bomber. Are you proud of that? Are you proud of what you did there? <laughs> look at this. Like, I, look, I got first place on my team, and I'm not trying to gloat, but I got first place with engineer and flame trooper. 
Everybody else using the explosives. Radio operator, a, attacker pilot, mortar man, tanker. Come on, man. When you make your game too much or too focused on uh, the explosive being the means to progress, right? I would have gotten more experience if I spent more time in my bomber and took out a second attacker and took out a fighter. So I would have three aircraft. I could stay up in the air the whole game and just drop ordnance on people. I, I guarantee I can get more than 214 kills. And one of these days... <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to sit in the J188 and just hope for that one game where people just let me like like this game. So we just let this person bleh, bleh, just we probably would have won that game if one person wasn't able to just Call of Duty AC130. Like even the AC130 and Call of Duty doesn't get kill feeds like that. That is an issue. And sorry, I am actually getting angry now, but like I love this game, right? There's this is why I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to make enlisted content because I enjoy enlisted. But uh, a lot of times I play, I'll have games like this where even if I do well, you say, "Oh, you didn't get as many kills as the other guy." <laughs> it's because I didn't sit in my fucking bomber the entire game and use mortars the entire game oh yeah i'm name shaming you bud i'm not gonna complain or try and get this person in trouble oh this person will never be on my friends list i guarantee you i guarantee it but look see this proves my point a second place player on our team left the seventh place player left the 11th place player left the 12th place player left how many is that Four, right? It's just four. Four out of out of twelve would be a third of our team left because they were sick of getting bombed and blown up. And how many these got like this this person right here and this person right here? You know, I, I can't really see their name. I kind of want to add them on my friends list and just ask them, hey bud, are you feeling like uninstalling this game now? Just to see what they think. Because if they're frustrated enough to leave the game after only getting 4 kills or 11 kills, or, hell, this person managed to get 35 and they're playing on a console. So, okay, let me let me think how to say this. I have nothing against console players, but when I say playing on a console, I think of sitting on the couch, relaxing, right? Sometimes I play enlisted with a controller. I don't make videos about me playing with a controller because I suck with a controller. I mean, I suck with a mouse too, but a little less suck with a mouse. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to take down that score screen. I need to just get rid of that. Oh my goodness. But let's see how many knife kills we got. How many did we get? Five. Ooh, we have to have five more games like that one to complete the challenge. Oof. Well, I'm not recording that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta get up at three. Three or oh dark third or whatever that you know I gotta get up at like three in the morning and go to work and pay my bills just like all of my lovely viewers. Thank you so much, everybody who stuck around this long and listened to my crazy rambling bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I I really when I saw uh, my first video that got over a thousand views, my my hands I mean my hands shake anyway. Y'all know that, but my hands were just. <laughs> I could barely even type in that comment thanking y'all. And I really do appreciate any of you who have left comments, who have liked or disliked my If you dislike it, go ahead and dislike it. Any engagement's better than no engagement. Trust me. <laughs> any engagement's better. I'm just setting myself up for some really ugly fucking like to dislike ratios, aren't I? <laughs> That's okay. But I do want to make an axe video. But sadly, I do not have time to do it with my work schedule during this event and if i try to do that i'll, I'll just get frustrated and the video won't come out and nobody nobody will, nobody will benefit so today's video is just that long form crap <laughs> probably be an hour long at this point and we're gonna save the zintz brothers you'll be seeing the zintz brothers again oh yeah they're brothers you can tell oh tom jerry larry and terry <laughs> 
Or is it Tom or Tomathan? I can't fucking remember. But old Tom and Jerry. Everybody knows Tom and Jerry. Everybody knows Tom and Jerry. But Larry and Terry. Larry and Terry are just... <laughs> Larry and Terry are, are also brothers. Like, let me, excuse me. Let me, Yeah, we'll talk about them later. But the Zintz brothers... Oh, I'm going to make a dedicated video about them and their axes. And it and their their monlickers. This setup right here and uh this perk setup the the crouch speed for the monlicker not the not really the axe. You want the engineer ones that have the additional I think it's 21% something like that uh crouch movement speed because when you mix it with this perk, oh my goodness. It's amazing. But we'll talk about all that later. For right now, I'm going to let y'all go. I hope y'all have a great evening or morning or wherever it is on your uh, cor a corner. Or I guess there are no corners on this beautiful blue globe that we live on. But I hope you're well. I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever. Take it easy. Love y'all bunches. Seven out.